Plugging Face is a uh, is a company that uh, uh, has thousands of, of uh, AI models, large language models, and different types of models, um, and uh, they supply models for uh, you know most of the companies use it. And like I said, the uh, or uh, Intel's got two strategies. One is uh, you know the smaller using CPUs for these smaller models, mm -hmm. and then they've got Gaudi too which competes with uh, NVIDIA A100s and H100s. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they, uh, they run these tests at uh, MLPerf, which is a consortium of, uh, I forget, I think like 70 country, co companies. But they've got standards they use, and everybody runs the same model under the same conditions, and, and they do performance checking and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, NVIDIA you know, it's always comes out on top. And usually, there's very few companies that compete against NVIDIA because they're so good. Uh, in the uh, last uh, training session, they just had one an inference session, but they haven't released the data yet. But in the last training session, uh, uh, Gaudi too did pretty good against uh, uh, NVIDIA A100s. Uh, it did not beat uh, the H100, which isn't isn't a, a big surprise, but it did it. Competitive with the A100, so came close to the to the, uh, to the H100. But um, so they were using the uh, FP16 there, um, and um, the uh, Hugging Face ran uh, some tests on a, a, a large language model, vision model called uh, Bridge Tower, and and that uh, run. They said that uh, that uh, uh, the Gaudi two actually outperformed the H one hundred by a little bit. So, oh, wow. so we can see that uh, you know there's some competition coming up, and for companies that really can't afford, you know, thousands of GPUs or thousands of H one hundreds, you know, there is a, a an alternative for for them that's a lot cheaper. Uh, the Gaudi two prices are right around the uh, mark of an A one hundred. So, and it's got almost performance of H one hundred. So. So it's a good sign, and uh, you know the, the, the data hasn't been released yet on the last uh, 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 inference testing that was done on ML curve. So we'll see that. You know, it's good to see that, especially given all of. And look, the A100 and H100. There's a valid reason why they're such yeah. high commodities, right? I mean, there's there's absolutely no denying that. Um, but it's nice to see. Uh, you know, real competition in the marketplace. I know uh, AMD's got the, the M100 from from uh, AMD. Um, yeah. In addition to Gaudi too, and the you know providing a com you know a, a competitive and a price performance um, position against uh, Nvidia to kind of drive greater innovation in the market and, and availability, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, expected that uh, that. Uh, Intel will you know, release uh, the uh, X Gaudi four next year sometime, and so it'll be interesting to see what uh, what happens. That'll be great. Gaudi Gaudi three chip, yeah. The Gaudi three chip, yeah. Yeah, I mean, my observations here too, uh, twofold. One, uh, you know, I like to always say that you know competition breeds innovation. It raises the water, you know, mark and level, and so it's it's good to see Gaudi two being competitive here. And number two, you know, Paul, you you win the award for headlines, you know, on our podcast. You know, when I think of face hugs, I think of one of my favorite movies, Aliens. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know, and that sort of thing. In fact, I just watched it recently. But uh, again, you you get the award for for headlines that are that are interesting. <laughs> yeah, you really do. I need to I need to study you a little bit more. Yeah, we need to step it up, Matt, and and so does. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to title school. <laughs> 